Okay, so we're going to cover about eight different industries today, which encompass about 90% of the nation's gross domestic product. We're going to do that in a bunch of different vignettes, if you will. And then we're going to come back on the stage and you hear, hear the prognostications of what this all means for the restructuring industry. First, um, obviously the accommodation food service industry, how big is this market? Um, as this slide will show, um, it's rather large. Um, it's one of the obviously largest in the country with over a million businesses. And we'll go into what actually details each of these uh, in, in a, a few minutes. What drives this industry? Um, as we've touched on very briefly, uh, consumer spending, obviously those with disposable income or businesses that have the wherewithal to do it um, are the ones going to be traveling, are going to be spending their money as they're going out um, despite uh, in inflation concerns in, in current times. So I have the arts, entertainment, and recreation industry. This is an industry that generates two million uh, business or has two million businesses throughout the country and there are four million employees that work in those industries generating about 275 billion dollars so it's not the restaurant size but it's not insignificant when you look at GDP across the country. All right so let's get into the numbers. So construction industry we've got four million businesses it employs over 10 million people. That's the same population of Sweden. Revenue at 2.4 trillion, and profits and wages right there at 697 billion. Um, so I'm here to talk to you about the educational services industry. This is a huge industry, and I think I kind of overlooked this when I took this on, but this encompasses a lot. We've got 1 million businesses, 12 million employees, and then a trillion in revenue. And then when you look at the uh, profits and wages combined, we're at 964 billion. So a very, very broad, very all-encompassing uh, education services industry. So I'll be providing a short overview of the finance and insurance industry. And the headline here, unlike other industries, is that it seems like things are doing well. And when we walk through the numbers, that's what, that's what the story tends to be. So let's start with who we're talking about. We have a million businesses. We have 8 million employees, we have revenue of $5 trillion, and then we have $2 trillion in profits and wages. So we're talking about a significant chunk of the economy. So the healthcare industry. So healthcare is one of the largest sectors of the economy. It encompasses over 3 million businesses, generating over $3 trillion of revenue annually. It employs 23 million employees, and pays $1.2 trillion of wages every year. The manufacturing industry is an incredibly broad definition, and I think it's really worth considering this, the, what I describe as the catch-all for everything that's here today. When we talk about some of the other industries, and they're like, oh, it's very large, it's a billion dollars. As defined by a program this morning, manufacturing is $6 trillion, it's 600 84,000 the uh, businesses, 12 million employees. We're gonna talk about the retail industry. Um, the retail industry, before we get into all the charts that I've got here, we're gonna just do some quick um, statistics here. Um, most of the um, retail business here, there's three million of them in the United States. The retail sector employs over 17 million people, which amounts to about 5% of the US population. Annual revenue is $5.4 trillion, and industry value added, or profits and wages, is estimated at $672 billion annually.